Hi everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a combined haul of a Bath & Body Works candle order that I had got actually several weeks ago. I got a small haul from Ava's and I bit the bullet and I got a candle crock. So I ordered this off of Amazon. Um, oops. For those of you who don't know, a, a candle crock is basically a container that you set your candle down in. I guess I can use one of these. And it will heat your candle all the way around. So from top to bottom, sides, all the way around. I, a lot of people use these when their candles get down real low and um, they don't want, don't want them on a surface. A lot of times when mine get down low, I've got just a, a heater base. Um, I don't even know what they call them. Um, but I will set my candle on that and it just heats it from the bottom up. So when there's about that much left, that's what I do. I have heard people get great performance. If you have a candle that the wicks go wonky, this is great to put them in. If you have one that's not throwing, I've heard to put these in, put your candles in here and it helps with the throw. This is just a basic black. Like I said, I got it on Amazon. I think it was about 30 or $31. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. Um, the brand is Elaine's Design. Um, yeah, Elaine's Designs. Solid black warmer. So it took me a while to find one. You don't, these are hard to find. There are a few on, on Amazon, but I wanted black. So I just kind of waited and held out till I could find a black one. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the next part of my haul is going to be, I have four Bath and Body Works candles I got in the store. I think it was right before Presley went to school. So, um, I don't know, around the, maybe like on the 13th or the 12th, I think we went shopping one last time and I picked up four candles with whatever sale. I think I had that 30% off coupon that they put in our app. So the ones I picked up are Marshmallow Fireside, which is Toasted Marshmallow Smoldering Woods, Fire Roasted Vanilla, Crystallized Amber. This is the Marshmallow Fireside we all know and love. Um, I have tons of wax that this will go great with. I have, this will be my second one of these. And it's funny, this is the first year I've ever had a marshmallow fireside candle. I know you're thinking, where have you been girl? But, um, so this is my second one this season. So I have two now. Um, and then I got the perfect autumn, which is fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, rich clove. I probably have about four of these now in my collection. This is one of my favorite, probably top five candles from Bath & Body Works. I love it. It's, it's great for the fall. Then I picked up two new ones. Okay, and the first one is Cuddle Weather. Cuddle Weather is warm gingerbread tea, cinnamon shortbread, and a cozy blanket. Okay, so I am not the biggest gingerbread fan. And I'm not the biggest fan of red hot cinnamon. And there's something about this that's very nice. I can't wait to warm this and just see because whatever that cozy blanket is really softens the spices in the cinnamon and the gingerbread. So I'm, I'm excited about trying that one out. And the last one I got is sweet cinnamon plum. This one is Juicy Plum Cinnamon Apples Ground Clove Buds. I, I adore this. I'm going to get another one. Uh, don't be afraid of the cinnamon. It's um, this is a very sweet, sweet candle. And the apples just sweeten it up. Um, it's almost a candied apple, I think ground clove buds i mean you might you get you get a small amount of spice there but it's nothing to be afraid of because i'm not i'm not big into those harsh spices but i really like this one it's it's nice kind of vibrant it's kind of a it's a sweet candle but it's it's got a crisp crispness to it i really like it 
And then today I got my Avis Country Cupboard order. I cannot believe I got this so fast. So I placed this order August 26th. Today is the 29th and I've got it. It's amazing. Amazing service there. Ava's Country Cupboard is located in Traverse City, Michigan. She does restocks. I pr This is only my second order from Ava's. I've never, I, and the funny thing is, is I've never gotten on fast enough to really stock up. My first order from her was one loaf and this order is two loaves. So I would really like to get some of her bakery bags. They're a fantastic price. But um, I never seem to catch things when her restocks start. I'm always kind of late to the game. But um, yeah, let's see. First, she sent three samples with this order, which is extremely generous. Uh, the first one is fall baking at Tiffany's. I did smell these. And this is, um, I believe, cupcakes at Tiffany's. Probably with something else in there. Maybe a, a cinnamon or a spice. But I get mainly cupcakes at Tiffany's, which I'm loving right now. Blueberry pumpkin patch. Yeah, I still get nothing from this. I thought maybe after I, I opened the box and let it sit for a while. I don't get anything from this, but I mean, I literally get nothing. But that's okay because I'm sure it's freshly poured. It will sit. I don't have a problem with that. I have heard, and this is just what I've heard. I have no, um, I've not, I've not got to melt any of her, her stuff yet. So everything I'm saying is just what I've heard other YouTubers say. And I have heard that, that her stuff needs to cure quite a while. Okay. And this one is I smell fall. And this is very much walking into a craft store, an antique store. It's it's thinking on the website I did look at a couple at her scent list. I'm thinking this had oranges and and clove and spice and just very um, what you would think of a of a craft store, an old old stuff. Crafts and antique stores. That's what I get from that. Okay, so like I said, I got, well, one is considered a loaf and one is considered a cake pan. So the first one I got is Tiffany's Candy Corn Cupcakes Cake Pan. Now, this was $15.95. These are supposed to be 10 to 12 ounces and they're hefty which would make it anywhere from $1.33 to $1.60 per ounce. And I've heard great things about Ava's bakery. I've heard her bakery is amazing. And I don't know what does candy corn smell like. I really don't know what candy corn smells like. What I get from this is just a really strong buttery white cupcake. I mean, bakery, like if you had a, a, a cake with icing sitting in front of you that you'd just taken the, you know, the top off the container. And I will take it out so you can take a look because it's very pretty. So it has that cupcake on the top. And then it is tri-colored, just like a candy corn. And on the bottom, I really get a, 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 a bakery smell. I get a strong cake smell. Mm, very nice. So this one will sit, and this was freshly poured August 13th. So this will, well, I'm just gonna put that over there. Can't get it back in the bag. These will sit through this year. They will, they will sit until next, next year. The next one is considered a loaf melt. And this is in the scent Frankenstein. Uh, these were $21.95. They are 14 to 15 ounces, which makes them $1.46 to $1.57 an ounce. This one is pumpkin pecan waffles, vanilla bean noel, and buttery cupcakes. Mm. And this is very strong already. And it's just decadent. Her bakery, there isn't 
an authentic smell, I think, to her bakery. You can see our Frankenstein right there. I definitely get, and it's funny, I, you know, pumpkin pecan waffles usually takes over everything, and I do smell the pumpkin pecan waffles, but I think what's more impressive is just that, that buttery cupcake. I smell, I smell cake, and you don't usually, you don't usually get that. I definitely get a lot of pumpkin pecan waffles, especially the more I, the more I sniff on it but I do get the cupcake note, which is what really makes it like a decadent bakery. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to drop that like that. So yeah, I am, I am really, really impressed on cold with everything I've gotten from Ava's. Um, and I will try to do better and uh, stay on top of some of her RTSs. I don't know if she does pre-orders, I've never seen one, but that doesn't, doesn't mean anything, um, but I'm going to try to stay on top because I want to get some of her bakery bags because they are very um, reasonably priced for her bakery bags. So, so yeah, so that is what I have today. So I'm really excited about my goodies and can't wait to use the candle crock. And I think I'm going to try to use it tomorrow. I'll be home all day. I might start in the basement because, you know, I have trouble getting down there every day to put my melts in. And um, I have a couple candles that are halfway, like at the halfway point. So I think I'm going to try it out in the basement first and see how it does. So, and then maybe I'll do a review video on the candle crock. So yeah. Okay. Well, thanks everyone for stopping by. Happy Monday. Talk to you soon.